Good day, everyone. Thanks so much for joining today's BioCompass webinar. We'll get started at two minutes after the hour to allow everyone an opportunity to join. Thanks for joining everyone. We will get started at two minutes after the hour to allow everyone an opportunity to sign on. Welcome to the BioCompass webinar, your insider guide to events during JPM Week 2020. It's my pleasure to be your host. I'm Willie Reeves, Director of Partnering Products and Services at Bio, and am pleased to be joined by Donna Lavoie, President and CEO of Lavoie Health Science. Want to give everyone a greeting, Donna? Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining this morning or this afternoon, depending where you are. Yes, or even evening. We've got such yeah, an international evening. audience today. <laughs> Well, we'll kick off quickly with a little bit about BIO. And if you're not familiar, BIO is the world's largest trade association representing the biotechnology industry. We have a thousand plus members, both domestically and abroad. And among other activities, we produce the annual BIO International Convention, along with a portfolio of other global events. 
some of the events in said portfolio are on the screen right now and these that have a teal box around them so bio um, partnering at jpm bio ceo and investor conference bio asia and the others all feature the bio 101 partnering system up next after jp morgan is the bio ceo and investor conference february 10th and 11th in new york um, at the new york marriott marquee near times square the early bird registration ends on December 31st, so we recommend that you act fast. For today, we will start with an overview of the various services that BIO is offering to the life science community during JP Morgan Week. Donna is going to share some best practices for how to navigate and maximize your time at JPM Week. We'll look at a partial list of company presentations at JPM. Many are still being announced. And then we will move through BIO's extensive list of receptions, events, and conferences that are happening during JP Morgan Week. By the way, the list of events will be available online at bio.org slash JPM tomorrow. If you are on this webinar or if you registered for the webinar, you'll receive an email link to the recording as well as to the first version of the Bio Compass event guide. We will have a second publication of the Compass with new events and that will be released on Friday, January 3rd. But before we get too far in, we'd like to say a special thank you to our sponsors, to Chubb, uh, to Lavoie Health Science, thanks Donna, and <laughs> to Worldwide Clinical Trial. So we appreciate uh, the ongoing support of each of our sponsors here. Now, really quickly, let's talk about what are the three big things that BIO was offering during JPM week. First is access to the BIO 101 partnering system. So if you have attended the BIO International Convention, October's BIO Investor Forum, or other events, it's the same system. One of the differences, though, is that during JP Morgan week, as an industry service, BIO offers the system for free. No, like actually really for real for free. Um, it's event independent, so you don't have to be attending the official JP Morgan conference itself or any other event. You um, can just sign up for the system if you're going to be in San Francisco like many others. And it maintains your meeting history from other events as well. Second is bio meeting space. So we have meeting space available conveniently located near uh, Union Square and it's affordably and competitively priced. So for bio member companies you receive a, your first hour free and then it's dollars per 30 minutes after that and um, hundred dollars per 30 minutes for non-member companies and part three which you are actively participating in now is the bio compass so that both includes today's webinar as well as the published list of events that will be available later this week and then a second version again on friday january 3rd now, let's take a quick look at what Bio 101 partnering uh, for JPM Week looks like. Once you log in, you'll see a home page that looks something like this. It's a very similar to what you'll see if you have partnered at other Bio conferences or other events using the Bio 101 partnering system. You can easily search for partners. You can look through companies, delegates, assets, market products, services. Uh, as of this morning, we've got uh, nearly 1,100 companies and over 1,500 users and counting. That number continues to grow. And if you'd like to get on board and join the system to see who's participating, you can do so for free. Just drop your information in the application at bio.org slash JPM. One of the th Things that differentiates the bio partnering system for JPM from other conferences is that it's self-scheduling. So as opposed to an algorithm doing it, uh, you are scheduling your own meetings based on the conversations that you may be. So once a meeting is accepted, either party can schedule it. It's very easy. Green means go and you can select one of those time slots. Here there are two options. So you can use a bio meeting point. Again, that's at the Marriott Marquis um, and that comes at a low cost or the free hour if you're a bio member company or you can use your own meeting space in which case it is free to use that option. You can see here, uh, you can choose the specific meeting point that you would like to use for that time. All the payment information, et cetera, is listed very clearly. And then you get a really easy and quick confirmation. And these scheduled meetings will push, uh, they'll appear in your partnering calendar, they will push into your Outlook, and they will also appear in the Bio 101 mobile app as well. So lots of ways to make sure that you can get your meeting information. 
speaking of the mobile app, this is something I'm extremely excited about. We have recently released a new and improved Bio 101 partnering mobile app. So it integrates your message center. So if you're sitting there and a company is running late, perhaps you're running late, you're stuck in traffic, you can easily fire off a message to them and see that that will be read quickly. You can also check out the programming and the receptions, view other companies' profiles. So lots of great functionality here. And this app is free for um, both iPhones as well as Android devices. Now, part two, the bio meeting space. So we at the San Francisco Mayor at Marquis. Uh, it's a really kind of a calm space. People have literally called it an oasis away from the sort of craziness of JPM week. So it's a ballroom. We have meeting tables with four to six chairs. We've got refreshments available there as well. So if you've used the bio, if you use the bio meeting space, you can come in and grab a cup of coffee, grab some tea on your way in or your way out. We also have a dedicated sponsor suites and a little bit more on that later. And again, the pricing here, bio member companies receive their first hour free per company and then after that it's $50 per 30 minutes for non-member companies it is $100 per 30 minutes now compare this to hotel rooms many of which you probably don't want to use for any sort of uh, business purposes that may be $1400 $1500 a night or more so really we do this as a service to the industry and here are some photos of the bio meeting space from uh, this past year. So as you can see, things are very busy. They're buzzing. Uh, there are meeting point signs here on the table, so it's easy to figure out where it is that you need to go. And there are loads of people that come in and out of this space every day during JPM. If you're looking for perhaps a bit more private space, we do have one dedicated sponsor suite remaining. If you're interested, please uh, email me or email sponsor at bio.org. You not only get sponsor recognition for the thousands of folks that are coming through the space, but also dedicated customer support staff and then a private space to take your meetings. And we've got a variety of other sponsorship opportunities as well. Now, quick point of information. If you're planning to do all of your JPM meetings in hotel lobbies, be aware that a lot of hotels are now charging. If they see two people in suits walk talking in the lobby, they will walk up to you and say, pay us a bunch of money per hour. We've all seen it happen and we don't want it to happen to you. So if you're not sure what to do, when in doubt, go to bio.org slash JPM to reserve meeting space or schedule meetings uh, with companies directly in the Bio 101 partnering system. And Donna, we may want to, you may want to go on mute there. I think um, there may be a little background noise. Oh, sorry. Now, quick bio disclaimer, I'm going to do this very fast. Bio and the Bio 101 partnering system are not affiliated with JP Morgan or the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference. As such, we are unable to provide invitations to the event. If you call us, beep us, email us, we will tell you the same thing. Bio does not endorse any reception event or conference except the ones for which our organization sponsors. Bio cannot confer any reception invitations. We have sought to provide accurate information but will not be held liable for inaccuracies. And finally, bio event lists are a resource, but please respect invitation-only events uh, out of respect to those events event organizers. All right, and now I'm going to turn it over to Donna Lavoie, CEO and President of Lavoie Health Science, to share some best practices for navigating the JP Morgan Week. Over to you, Donna. Thank you so much, Willie. I appreciate your time today and walking us through uh, some of the initial best practices, and I look forward to hearing about all of the events in the ensuing slides after mine. A Lavoie Health Science is an award-winning strategic communications firm uh, focused in helping advance health and science innovations. I'd like to take you through uh, a few of the best practices. I think, Willie, really we need to go to the next slide. So despite all the investor focus and the business development focus at this event, and many times we hear a number of folks from our industry asking whether they should attend this. And it isn't for everyone. Um, that being said, it is still a very important event. And I think the true winners um, in JP Morgan week and weeks of the past has been the patients. As you know, we've seen our industry continue to evolve and grow and we have more and more treatments uh, becoming available 
uh, that are truly innovative that are helping patients around the world from our industry. JP Morgan 19 boasted more than 10,000 attendees at events, not only including uh, the bio uh, event that Willie has been describing, but also the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference, which was the originator of the JP Morgan uh, Week many years ago. Now the Digital Medicine and MedTech Showcase, the Biotech Showcase, the Dermatolo Dermatology Summit, East West CEO, Resi Neuroscience Innovation Forum, uh, leading biotech events, and many, many more. We all know that meeting space is at a premium. And as we've just heard, uh, lobbies are charging and many restaurants actually charge just to uh, sit down at a table and have a chat. So it is helpful to have a, a dedicated spot. I know uh, we at Lavoie um, are very excited uh, this year to be having our dedicated meeting space at the Bio Center. And so uh, we look forward to hosting our clients there. As mentioned, um, you know, despite some of the neg negative atmosphere, things such as the high cost and the homelessness that all of us uh, have experienced at JP Morgan in San Francisco and many more Michaels giving presentations and female CEOs, it still is a very important uh, event for us in our industry to really come together and, and make business happen. It's reported as the largest group of VCs, public equity and institutional investors, as well as business development partners of any healthcare related conference during the year. And there are more than 4,000 investors of all type, whether you're at JP Morgan and you're already public or private going public and in that forum with institutional investors and crossovers, or whether you're at Resi with family funds and uh, retail uh, holders or, or you know, small investors. It's a very, very large event in San Francisco. So now I'd like to just take you through um, our top 10 JP Morgan Week survival tips. Um, our top 10 starts with, if you haven't started reaching out, uh, to your top targets, you need to get moving. I know uh, we here at Lavoie are, uh, everybody is running around very busy in the meeting making systems, um, ensuring that we have our clients schedule started and that things are coming together with the right targets. Um, when you think about targeting, spread a wide net, extend your reach and target at least 10 to 20 percent new names uh, from last year if you did attend last year and we do recommend trying the uh, bio uh, meeting platform uh, which is an excellent one and if you have attended the bio meetings in the past one of the things that we really like about it is that it it holds all of your information so if you met with somebody at bio international you'll have that information stored in your login so you'll see who you've met with before and whether it's a good time to reconnect with that person you'll also have new people to write reach out to if you are uh, presenting for example at the biotech showcase um, there is also a meeting making opportunity there and uh, if you're uh, presenting there that is also helpful but we do recommend spreading a wide net and ensuring that, that you're working probably both systems. Um, also, make sure that you check your message and refresh it. I'm going to, on the next slide, give you some links to some um, uh, videos that we produced with Bio, Lavoie Health Science and Bio together on presentation tips, your elevator pitch, as well as developing your corporate presentation. So now is a great time to uh, dust off your deck and your message and make sure that you're ready uh, for the third week in, in January. When you're at JP Morgan, ensure that 
uh, you and your colleagues actually uh, divide and conquer to meet new people when you go to events at night. There'll be many, many um, that we'll go through in the rest of this presentation today. Um, you can't possibly go to all of them. So we do recommend that you divide and conquer with your team and then maybe meet up later at a later event, but this is a great way to meet new people. During JP Morgan week, we all uh, like to check our phone and our messages, and that is really important, but it's also important to uh, strive to meet new people and ensure that you make your time uh, valuable uh, with interacting with people rather than just uh, uh, focusing on your, your emails and catching up. Be effective and efficient with your message, as, as mentioned, and ensure that, that, that you're ready to give the right story to the right person at the right time, whether that be in an elevator, um, uh, in the hotel, or uh, interacting uh, with, with someone new that you might meet, uh, walking down the street when you run into a colleague, uh, be ready to, to give that elevator pitch. Many times our clients ask us whether uh, their presentation should be in paper format or email format. Um, uh, we actually recommend that you consider both, uh, not 100% printouts, but not 100% electronic either. It's nice to have the book of your deck. Um, should you get into a situation where you're in a quick meeting situation and you have to be very quick and on the fly with your story, uh, you might find that your Wi-Fi is down or for some reason your computer isn't working. So it's always helpful to have to have both. Also, um, you know, the week of J.P. Morgan is a really important news flow week. It's also a week where you really kind of reflect on the prior year and think about the upcoming years. So it really is a master class in the business of, of science and innovation. And so listening is, is, is also very important. Have a plan with some holes. Um, it's great to be stacked with meetings, but it's also great to have some holes in your schedule so that when you run into a colleague that you haven't seen in five years, that you're actually able to schedule a time to get together for coffee. So don't over schedule yourself. And lastly, follow up. Ensure that you schedule time in your calendar to follow up on the folks that you've met and prioritize and get them into your database and uh, follow up on the folks that, that really are important to take the next step with. So the next slide is about prepping for JP Morgan 2020 week and beyond. And these are links to three videos actually that uh, Bio and the Void Health Science created a few years back. And we actually just recently revised all of them to current best practices. And I believe that Bio will ha also have them available on their website um, as they're launching a new, new website soon or, or already have. But I've given the links here and um, uh, feel free to utilize these as tools. Um, they're all about eight minute, five to eight minute videos on each of the topics um, that are described here. Lastly, I do want to mention uh, this is one of my last things that, that I mentioned before I turn it back over is as an advisor at Life Science Cares, which is a nonprofit organization focused on giving back to prevent poverty, has partnered with Replate, which is organizing to uh, take leftover food from meetings and events at J.P. Morgan 2020 and do donate that to people who need it. Um, it's a very easy process. And for those of you interested in giving back uh, to that community, contact Sarah McDonald at uh, Life Science Cares. And I also have noted her phone number here. 
And also lastly, um, on Thursday of this week, I'm very excited, we, Lavoie Health Science has hosted its first annual uh, view of the unvarnished view of J.P. Morgan. We're hosting this in Boston at the Sinesta Hotel on Thursday. And this is less about what we're talking about here, but more about uh, which event is the best one for you, whether you should attend or not. And it is a panel of four distinct panelists, Chris Garabedian, who is the uh, founder and CEO of Zontogeny and also a portfolio manager at the Perceptive uh, Phi Fund, which is the first VC fund at Perceptive. Daphne Zohar, who's CEO of PureTech Health, Milenko Sisamel, who's the global head of innovation at Ipsen, and John Sivitris, uh, who's the managing director at SVB Lurie. So for those uh, who are not able to attend, we will uh, 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 audio this particular event and we will make that available for folks who wanna listen to it. So feel free to jot me an email if you're interested in the link and uh, we'll be happy to send that to you uh, at the end of the week. Now back over to you. Donna, thanks a ton for sharing those best practices with us. I think especially, you know, whether someone is new to JP Morgan or they're wanting to just make sure that they've got the latest best practices, that's fantastic. I would just add one to um, Donna's list, all of these things to be aware of and being prepared. However many business cards you think that you should take to JP Morgan, bring twice that many. Because as Donna mentioned, you bump into people in elevators on, I mean, literally in elevators on the street, you know, going to grab lunch, all of these sorts of things. And you don't, you want to make sure that you can put your best foot forward in each of those situations. So make sure to bring those um, business cards with you. Now, before we get into the events, a couple of quick notes. Some of the receptions have RSVP information available publicly online, others do not. Now, the URLs won't be written out in long form on this slide, but if you download the slide deck uh, later on tomorrow or check with the slide that comes in your email, you can access the links. And then just a quick disclaimer, most of the rest of this webinar is uh, my soothing voice reading the reception list. You can also download the list online as well. So let's jump right in and kick off with a partial list of presenting companies at JP Morgan. So this is a company that have publicized this or released their presentation dates and time so far, starting with Aptinix on Wednesday at 5 p.m., Atricure on Thursday, January 16th at 9.30 a.m., Baxter on Monday, January 13th at 10 a.m., Encompass Health on Tuesday, January 14th at 3 p.m., Horizon Therapeutics on Wednesday at 5 p.m., Intersect ENT Wednesday at 1.30 p.m., Conexa Pharmaceuticals Monday at 2 p.m., Livongo on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m., and Ribomic on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Now let's jump into the uh, long-awaited receptions and events going on during JPM week. And we'll kick it off with Deloitte's China Networking Reception, which brings together top life science and healthcare leaders, investors, and others from both sides of the Pacific Ocean uh, over wine and hors d'oeuvres. So this is going to be at the Martin Lawrence Galleries on Sunday, January 12th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Continuing with the consulting firm and CRO receptions, we have Adam Wise's Drugging the Undruggable, What Does Biopharma Need? So this is the fourth annual panel discussion and reception from Adam Wise during JPM, and a number of leaders will be joining for an evening of cocktails and conversation about the future of drug discovery. That's at the Contemporary Jewish Museum, 736 Mission Street, on Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. Next, the ever-popular Ernst & Young Annual Circus Before the Circus. This is an invitation-only event and is always a great time at the Four Seasons Hotel's Veranda Ballroom on Sunday from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. Next up, the RSA Group's Drinks Reception. This is an invitation-only event, and the RSA Group's the leading executive search firm in global life sciences. This will be at the Olympic Club on Sunday from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. 
Terea's annual JP Morgan welcome party. Terea is a global investment banking boutique with M&A services, capital markets, and licensing advisory services for the life sciences. An invitation only event that will provide the uh, venue information. And this is on Sunday, January 12th. Deloitte's 2020 College Football National Championship Networking Event. So if you don't want to miss the games, you may want to be here. It's at Thirsty Bear on Monday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. CMIC's Japan Night Reception at JPM. Uh, CMIC Holdings will host the Japan Night with the Japan Society of Northern California at Ginto Izakaya Japonese on Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. Next is Pascal and Octane's Cocktail Party. And you can take a break from the conference and have a drink on these groups. It's at Tech Space from, on Monday from 5 to 7.30 p.m. McDermott and Ernst & Young's annual cocktail reception at SPIN, which is a super fun, uh, fun ping pong bar in San Francisco. Highly recommend it. It's going to be on Monday at 7 p.m., running until 11 p.m. The Pacific Northwest Networking Reception. This is an invitation-only event. Great opportunity to connect with leaders and entrepreneurs from Oregon and Washington. And it will be featuring regional success stories and recent collaborations. This is at Runway on Tuesday from 4 to 7 p.m. Worldwide Clinical Trials, pre-party power up happy hour. Try saying that five times fast. You can mingle here with potential partners, investors, and industry experts while sipping on exclusive Napa Valley wines at Homage SF on Tuesday from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Tiger Med, Frontage, and TF Capital are hosting the reception at The View. So there's a turbulent global biomedical industry, and this reception will have a, a discussion of the challenges going on in clinical development and other items. That's at The View Lounge on Tuesday from 6 till 8 o'clock p.m. The 3D Heels reception is a fun night of network, uh, co networking cocktails and a ping pong match as well. Uh, also going to be at SPIN. Attendees have to complete an application via Eventbrite and must be relevant to 3D Heels. So there's an RSVP link here with more information for that. And it's on Tuesday from 7 to 11 o'clock p.m. Deloitte and Bridge Bank are hosting their Whiskey Sips and Tips reception. It's a Deloitte-hosted networking event with whiskey tasting and live music at Hops and Harmony, really popular venue there, on Tuesday from 7 to 11 p.m. Deloitte 2020 Women's Networking Event, providing women in the life science and healthcare industry a unique opportunity to network with each other. That'll be at the Martin Lawrence Galleries on Wednesday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. The MIT Club of Northern California has the AI in Drug Discovery and Medicine panel, so you can meet leaders from top startups in the space here, which should be really exciting. So this will be at First Republic Bank on Wednesday from 6 to 9 o'clock p.m. Now we will move to the investment firms and investor relations events. Rock Health Happy Hour. Join them in celebrating JPM 2020 with many of the leaders making a huge impact on healthcare. So this is an invitation only event. The uh, BNU information is sent upon your RSVP and it's on Monday, January 13th. HC Royalty Cocktail Event from HCR Partners. The showcase after that where there will be an intimate networking reception with investors to discuss business models and enjoy conversation at Feinstein's at Hotel Nico. Also highly recommend the breakfast at Anzu at Hotel Nico. Um, Monday, January 13th at 5 p.m. The exclusive executive cocktail reception by Cross Tree Capital Partners, which is a global leader in guiding health science M&A and growth financing strategies. That'll be at the Hilton Union Square uh, Urban Tavern in there on Monday from 5 to 8.30 p.m. And this is an invitation-only event. The Health 2.0 Venture Connect from HIMS. Investors looking for companies to invest in in digital health may want to attend this startup showcase with uh, carefully curated digital health startups from C through Series A funding. This will be at the Grand Hyatt on Monday from 5.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. 
Indie Bio's annual JPM Open House uh, invites folks to their accelerator space to learn more about their programs and meet early stage biotech companies. This will be at the Indie Bio office on Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m. Stern IR's JP Morgan annual cocktail and gallery event. A senior level investor relations services for healthcare and clean technology companies is what Stern does. And this will be at the San Francisco Art Exchange on Tuesday from 5.30 to 7 o'clock p.m. Leidenberg Thalman's Cocktail Party. Uh, this investment bank has been uh, part of the NYSE for over 130 years and has a full suite of investment banking services. This will take place at Jasper's Corner Tap and Kitchen in Hotel Sparrow on Tuesday from 5.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. Portugal's Biotech Showcase during JPM Week. Uh, join them to overlook the Portuguese biotech scene, connect with Luso American entrepreneurs, and get to know how Portugal and the U.S. are working together in the life sciences. This will be at Fidelity Investments on Wednesday from 3 to 5.30 p.m. Now we'll look at information, media, and IT firm receptions. Last call with Canal Communications. Uh, kick off your heels, loosen your tie, unwind here on Tuesday, closing out the evening uh, with drinks and snacks, bar games, and of course, good people. This is uh, slated to be a fun event at the Golden Gate Tap Room on Sunday from 8.30 p.m. until 12.30 a.m. Stat at JPM's networking reception. Uh, they will have workspace available for Stat subscribers and will also have some programming going on in their workspace. This is uh, venue information will be provided with your RSVP on Monday from 5 to, I believe, that 7 o'clock p.m. The W2O hashtag JPM20 tweet up meetup. Join w W2O, 1AB, Edelman, and some other peers and influencers in the healthcare for conversation, cocktails, and fun during JPM. This will be at China Live on Monday from 6 to 9 o'clock p.m. Pitch Global will have uh, the Pitch Health Tech for um, investors attending JP Morgan. So this will be at the 360 Lab San Francisco on Thursday from 5 to 8 o'clock p.m. The 2020 Calm Party. Calm is a top global health and wellness brand and the number one app for sleep, meditation, and relaxation. Uh, I'll just stick a pin in, in here and say that I use Calm every day and actually find it to be super helpful. And they are on a mission to make the world happier and healthier. This will be at Calm's headquarters on Thursday from 8.30 to 11.30 p.m. and is an invitation-only event. Now let's look at the academic and university receptions. The Harvard Business School Healthcare Alumni Reception, anticipating about 500 HBS alumni. There is an annual reception here, um, and registration is required. This is at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Fantastic venue, highly recommended, on Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. Next is UC San Diego alumni. So you can join the University of California SD Alumni Association for their uh, networking social in downtown San Francisco at Tabletop Tap House from Sunday, on Sunday from 6 to 9 o'clock p.m. The Cambridge Networking Reception. So Cambridge in America's Bay Area Regional Committee is hosting the first ever reception for uh, Cambridge alums here. So whether you're there for JPM or just in town for San Francisco, we they would advise you to come over to E&O Wine Bar, not to be confused with E and O Kitchen and Bar, two different venues. Make sure you check that out on your bio partnering app or whatever you're using to get around. And this is going to be on Monday, January 13th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. The UCSF alumni, uh, Rosenman Institute, QB3, and Berkeley Skydeck Happy Hour. You can mingle with alumni, investors, and entrepreneurs. This is an invite-only event that will uh, send you venue information upon your RSVP, and it's on Monday at 6 o'clock p.m. The Stanford Graduate School of Business Healthcare Networking Mixer. So alumni and even current students will be attending this event as part of JPM. And it's held at Thirsty Beer on Tuesday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. University of Chicago Life Sciences Alumni Group Reception. They're having a reception for all you Chicago alumni and friends. You don't have to be attending JP Morgan to attend. This will be held at Mass Mutual on Tuesday from 6 to 8.30 p.m.
Cornell Silicon Valley, uh, Valley, Unicorns and Universities, the Impact of Hyperbole on Commercializing Life Science Research Innovations. Join Cornellians. I didn't know that was a demonym, and now I do. The annual Cornell event to connect with alums from across the country. Uh, this is a another event where the venue information is sent upon your RSVP, and it will be on Tuesday from 6 to 8 o'clock p.m. The Boston University Alumni Association School of Public Health is having an art and health networking event. So uh, Dean Galea from the School of Public Health and Dean Young from the College of Fine Arts will be discussing the intersection of art and health for the population. This is at Merchants Exchange Club on Tuesday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The Wharton Healthcare Management Alumni Association is having an event as well. Note that you must be a current uh, WHCMAA or Wharton Club of Northern California dues paying member to attend. Also current Wharton students are invited. This is at 620 Jones. Yes, that is the name of the venue on Wednesday from 830 to 1130 p.m. And quick look at uh, farmer reception here. Helsinki JPM Reception. Helsinki is a world-class cancer care company providing support to uh, relief patients with cancer. And that's at the Marker Hotel on Monday from 6.30 to 10 o'clock p.m. And this one, for this one, you should reach out to the RSVP contact if you'd wish to attend. Let's look at foundations, nonprofits, and association receptions. Starting with the State Bio Friends Kickoff Reception, so hosted by Arizona Bio, BioCom, Bio New Jersey, Michigan Bio, New York Bio, and others. State Bio Friends Reception will uh, kick off the largest annual gathering of folks in the world for healthcare at JP Morgan. This is going to be at the marker on Sunday from 4 to 7 p.m. Note that this is an invitation only event. The Virginia Reception, so a special opportunity to engage with uh, Virginia companies, Virginia researchers, Virginia universities. This will be at the Velvet Room inside the Clift Hotel on Sunday from 5 to 7 o'clock p.m. This will be a prudent time to mention that for many of these receptions, particularly those that are happening at a hotel, um, most of the time those are taking in place in a specific room or a specific ballroom. So you'll want to be sure that you note down those details as you add those items to your calendar. The BioBreak Networking Happy Hour provides a great opportunity to meet with uh, VCs, CEOs, and heads of business development. Note that there are free appetizers in an open bar, but only if you RSVP by January 9th. And attendance is limited to those who've RSVP'd, and it's on Sunday from 5.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. The Every Life Foundation for Rare Disease has the annual A Rare Affair for Rare Diseases. So the signature kickoff event for this group, for JPM, allowing you to network with investors and biopharma executives and others. This will be at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel on Sunday from 6.30 to 10 o'clock p.m. Health Tech Women's 8th Annual Event. This is invitation only and health... Tech Women is a global non for profit committed to supporting women in leadership and innovation across the health sector. So the venue info is sent with your RSVP, and this is on Monday from 5.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. The Healthcare Business Women's Association Reception uh, has the purpose of furthering the advancement and impact of women in the business of healthcare, and it will be taking place at Accenture's office on Monday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. This is an invitation only event. The eighth annual event uh, for Health Tech Women, venue information sent upon RSVP, Monday from 5.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. Foley Hoag and Mass Bios Biotech Networking Reception. They'll have a casual evening of cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and networking at Morton's on Monday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. We've got the Biomed Realty and Biocom Cocktail Reception, which provides an evening of great company, and they will be also having the College Football Playoff National Championship. This is at the Clift Hotel on 495 Geary Street uh, on Monday from 6 to 9 p.m. BioCentury's Distillery Whiskey Tasting Event. 13th annual invitation only event uh, with the tastings of vintage single malt whiskeys. This is at the Mint on Tuesday from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. and is an invitation only. 
National Venture Capital Association Investor Reception will uh, be open to NVCA members. There's an RSVP link here. The venue information is sent with your RSVP. And this is on Wednesday from 5 to 7 p.m. Now let's take a look at investment bank reception. The Ziegler Welcome Reception, uh, Ziegler's corporate finance team invites you to join them for networking with leading healthcare professionals. This is at 25 Lusk on Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. and is an invitation-only event. Foley and Lardner LLP and Brown Gibbon, Lang, Gibbons Lang's Reception with, is going to be at Mary Ann's on Sunday from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. featuring um, Mary Ann's edgy but sophisticated rock and roll glamour. I also really like this venue, super fun place. Evercore is Burgers and Beer Reception, their premier global independent investment banking advisory firm. This will be at Burger Bar, which is on the sixth floor of Macy's. It's invitation only and is on Monday from 5 to 9 o'clock p.m. Bank of America's Healthcare Client Baseball Event, a global leader in wealth management, corporate investment banking. This will be held at Oracle Park on Monday from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. and is an invitation only event. The Roth Capital Partners Cocktail Reception. Roth is a full-service investment banking firm focusing on the small cap public market. This will be at the SF Playhouse on Monday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. and is invitation only. HC Wainwright's Cocktails and Dinner. Uh, the, this full-service investment bank dedicated to providing a, mini, a wide array of uh, investment banking services. This will be at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel on Monday from 6 to 9 p.m. and is an invitation-only event. Canaccord Genuities Cocktail Reception is a leading independent full-service financial services firm, and this reception will take place at the Park Central Hotel on Tuesday, January 14th, and it's invitation only. The BTIG Healthcare Reception. BTIG is a global financial services firm with uh, institutional trading, investment banking, research, and brokerage services. This will take place on the, at the Olympic Club on Tuesday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. and is invite only. The Maxim Group's Cocktail Reception. You can meet the Maxim uh, Group's Healthcare Investment Bank Research and Capital Markets teams and network with leading executives in the area. This is at Anzu at Hotel Nico on Tuesday from 6 to 9 o'clock p.m. and is invite only. Now let's take a look at law firm receptions. Starting off with Pepper Hamilton's Dermatology Summit. So this is going to be a conference bringing together members from the financial community as well as the dermatology space. It'll take place at the Palace Hotel on Sunday from 9.30 a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. DBOUSA, Burns and Levinson, and Alira Health have a networking reception, a complimentary at one of San Francisco's popular bars, Dirty Habit, on Sunday from 6 to 9 o'clock p.m., and this is invitation only. Norton Rose Fulbright's Creative Cocktails event. They are a global law firm with preeminent corporation and financial institutions advice to those with full business law services. This is at Bourbon and Branch on Sunday from 6 to 10 o'clock p.m. Baker McKenzie's Cocktail Reception, Spice Up Your Sunday. Baker McKenzie partners with clients to deliver solutions in the world's largest economies and newly opening markets. This is at Murad Restaurant on Sunday from 7 to 10 o'clock p.m. The RSM Private Networking Reception for the Life Sciences. You can join RSM and other executives for another great company and conversation at Epic Steak. That is a restaurant name if ever there was one. And this is on Sunday from 7 to 10 o'clock p.m. The McDonald Firm on Monday, January 13th. Uh, we'll be having their reception, the Good Times on Tap reception at the Barbarossa Lounge, and that's on Monday, and there is an RSVP contact listed as well. Baker Bots and Salem Partners are having their private reception, and they hope you will join them for drinks, appetizers, and, of course, to watch the playoff game. And that's going to be at Jasper's Corner Tap and Kitchen on Monday from 5 to 8 o'clock p.m. Note this is an invitation-only event. 
the Reed Smith reception in 2020. Join Reed Smith for an evening of beverages and hors d'oeuvres during JPM. This is at Farallon on Monday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Greenberg Traurig's Wine Reception and Networking Reception. Uh, this firm has over 2,000 attorneys and have been recognized across the world for their philanthropic giving and other work. This will be at Fogo Gichon on Monday from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. and is an invitation-only event. Baker Hotsteller's JPM Cocktail Reception. This national law firm works in the core practice areas of business, employment, IP, litigation, and tax. This will be at Dirty Habit on Monday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The Goodwin Annual Wine and Beer Tasting Event. Goodwin's a global law firm search, serving the uh, rapidly changing tech-driven economy. This will be at the Press Club, which, by the way, has a fantastic uh, wine and champagne selection, nice food. Uh, this will be on Monday, January 13th at 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Simpson Thatcher and Bartlett's Healthcare Perspectives. They're one of the world's leading international law firms, and their event will be held at the Battery on Tuesday at 5 p.m., and this is an invitation-only event. Covington's Annual Cocktail Reception. This international law firm will be having their invitation-only reception at Morton's on Tuesday from 5.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. Shepard Mullen, Healthscape Advisors, and Sigler are hosting a reception with an evening of contemporary art, craft cocktails, and delicious hors d'oeuvres. This will be at the Chandran Gallery uh, on Tuesday from 5.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. Note that this is an invitation-only event. Nixon Peabody and Biocom's reception will be at the uh, Sir Francis Drake Hotel on Tuesday from 6 to 9 o'clock p.m. The Wilson Sonsini Goodrich Rosati Biotech Reception will bring together industry leaders and innovators for a lively evening with colleagues. This will be at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art on Wednesday, and there is RSVP information listed in the deck. The Squire Patton Boggs Annual Conference, uh, JPM Conference Networking Reception. They'll have the reception at the Hawthorne Lounge on Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m., and this is an invitation-only event. Now we will take a look at the early morning events. Starting off with McDougal at JPM, a four-mile fun run. So if you meet in Union Square right across from the West in St. Francis, you can kick your morning off with a four-mile fun run to get the week off to a good start. This will be at Union Square on Monday um, starting at 6 a.m. So get your track shoes, make sure they're ready, and there's RSVP link available in the deck. Endpoints at JPM has a panel of pharma execs and critics looking at some of the biggest issues in the industry. This will be at the Grand Hyatt Union Square on Monday from 6.30 to 10 o'clock a.m. The LifeSci Public Relations CEO panel and Power Breakfast looking at the panel topic of big disease, biotech innovation, and prevalent conditions. This will be at Morton's on Monday from 7 a.m. to 9 o'clock a.m. The Alliance for Regenerative Medicine's Cell and Gene Therapy State of the Industry Briefing. This event is free and open to the public and will have ARM's annual update on the sector's progress. And this will be at Park 55 on Monday from 8 o'clock to 9.50 a.m. LifeSci Public Relations CEO Board uh, Member Panel and Power Breakfast will be at Morton's on Tuesday from 7 to 9 o'clock a.m. The Fierce Biotech Executive Breakfast and Panel Discussions. Join Fierce Biotech during JPM with a full breakfast, two panel discussions, and networking at the Fairmont on Tuesday from 7 to 11.30 a.m. This event's always been a great industry update as well. Good to attend, and um, RSVP information is included in the deck. Buchanan, Ingersoll, and Rooney's fifth annual Biopharma Forum. It's a breakfast symposium for pharma execs and investors held at the Four Seasons on Tuesday from 7.15 to 8.30 a.m. Golden Gate Networking's Breakfast BNI, Lazar Legal Networks in a way that develops relationships, and you can be prepared for this event with a 30-second elevator pitch about who you are and what you're looking for. This is at the New York Life offices on Tuesday from 7.30 to 9 o'clock a.m. 
Neuroscience Trials Australia has a fireside chat, the Australian Clinical Trial Exchange, looking at insights from companies working in Australia. This is at the Hilton San Francisco on Tuesday from 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. Adam Wise, the Lean Startup's Guide to Drug Discovery. This is going to be a breakfast seminar with a panel of experienced entrepreneurs, investors, drug discovery experts, looking at new tech fundraising and more. This will be at The Vault on Tuesday from 8 to 10 o'clock a.m. Johnson & Johnson Innovations Quick Pitch at JPM. Innovators are invited to apply to present at this event, including the World Without Disease Accelerator and Lung Cancer Initiative leaders. This will be on Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Squire Patent Box is Legal Basics for Startups, a special venture law meetup seminar providing, uh, focused on providing meaningful education events at Squire Patent Boggs on Tuesday from 8.30 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Now we will take a look at daytime events. The BFC Group's Global Healthcare BDN Investment Reception. Uh, this will be a conference taking place on January 12th at the St. Regis San Francisco. And that's on uh, Sunday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Rare in the Square by Global Genes. It brings together rare disease innovators to look at partnerships and innovation. This will be at Union Square from Monday the 13th through Wednesday, January 15th, during the day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The McDermott, Will & Emery, and Ernst & Young Digital Health Pioneers Forum. Venue information here is sent with your RCP, and this is on Monday from 10 a.m. to noon. The BRAF groups meet and greet. They're hosting a meet and greet during JPM at Morton's The Steakhouse from uh, Monday to Tuesday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. The Penn Center for Innovation, Innovation at Penn. The theme of this year's event is Novel Treatments for Challenging Diseases at the Wharton San Francisco on Monday from 3 to 5 o'clock p.m. The Deloitte Innovation Event Company Showcase. Deloitte will have a select group of innovative companies here presenting their technologies and companies to PE and uh, corporations. This will be at the Martin Lawrence Galleries on Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The Greenberg Traurig Insider's View of Deal Making with Season Investors um, talking about best practices, pitfalls, and more, as well as predictions on 2020 deal making. This is at the San Francisco PLI Center on Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Note, this is an invite-only event. The DLA Piper Luncheon, Healthcare m and Exits, who's buying, what are they buying, and why, should be an informative lunch event at John's Grill on Tuesday from 11.30 a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. The Wuxi Global Forum 2020 and Reception, Advancing Breakthroughs for Patients. This is uh, the eighth year of the Wuxi Global Forum, bringing together many leaders looking at um, a global stage for transformative solutions for patients. This is at the Hilton Union Square on Tuesday from 1 to 6 o'clock p.m. The Chinese American Biopharmaceutical Societies Investor Forum and Entrepreneurship Club Innovation Roadshow will take place at Morrison and Forrester on Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Goodwin and KPMG's J.P. Morgan Symposium will take place at the St. Regis on Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Around Pitch for San Francisco, this is a monthly event for early stage high tech startup entrepreneurs to deliver short pitches to seasoned investors. This will take place at Runway on Wednesday from 5 to 8 o'clock p.m. The MIT Club of Northern California's AI and Drug Discovery and Medicine will have founders, innovators, and lots of MIT alumni and guests. This will take place at First Republic Bank on Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. DLA Piper's Annual Employment Law Continuing Legal Education Briefing 2020. Uh, you can join them for a collaborative discussion on the year ahead for businesses operating in California. This will be at 555 Mission Street on a Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And let's take a look at some conferences as well. The Digital Orthopedics Conference is a high-impact experience focused on implementing digital tech and healthcare. This is at the Intercontinental Hotel on, from Saturday to Sunday during JPM week. 
The East-West CEO event provides an inclusive setting for off-the-record discussions at the Four Seasons Hotel from Saturday to Sunday. Innovator MD's Global Summit 2020, showcasing the work of healthcare innovators to inform, inspire, and ignite innovation in healthcare. This is at UCSF's Smith Cardiovascular Research Building from Saturday to Sunday. The China Showcase at the Biotech Showcase will capitalize on cross-border opportunities at the Park 55 Hilton on Sunday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Stacks Associates third annual Neuroscience Innovation Forum for BDNL and Investment in Therapeutics and Technology. This will cover partnering for central nervous system diseases with some interesting industry keynotes. This will be at the M Marines Memorial Club on Sunday from 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. CIRCE's Innovations and Regulatory Science Summit will have this inaugural event here at the Mission Bay Conference Center on Sunday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The China Focus at JPM Week from my bio designed to have a meaningful platform to inform, inspire, and foster cross-border partnerships in the industry at the Grand Hyatt on Sunday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. ASCO Direct, Oncology Breakthrough, Where Science Meets Technology. This will be at the UCSF Mission Bay Conference Center on Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. CTIC Capital's 2020 Pre-JPM Healthcare Investment Summit. Uh, this group is dedicated to creating valuable connections for healthcare companies, especially those interested in uh, building relationships in Asia and around the world. This will be at the SF Airport Marriott Waterfront on Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. The seventh annual Dermatology Summit, bringing together the financial community and business leaders in dermatology at the Palace Hotel on Sunday from 9.30 a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. Of course, the actual 30th annual J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference itself, uh, which I think everyone knows about here. It's going to be at the Western Saint. San, San, Weston St. Francis in San Francisco from Monday through Thursday of January 13th through the 16th. No, this is invitation only. PricewaterhouseCoopers Collaboration Hub will have farm and life science leaders hosting clients and press here. This is on Monday and Tuesday of JPM week and is invite only. Solbury Trout Management Access SF 2020. Uh, the registration for this event has social events, Sunday tennis, college football championship, Monday night viewing party, annual cocktail party, a 510K run, and more at the Handlery Hotel Union Square from uh, Monday through Thursday of JPM week. The Startup Health Festival has gathered thousands of CEOs since 2011 with investors, world leaders, and others to solve on big healthcare challenges. This will be at the Startup Health Village on Monday and Tuesday of JPM Week. And there is the Biotech Showcase taking place Monday through Wednesday of JPM Week at the Hilton Union Square, a leading uh, investor event here. And quick note, Bio's very own CEO, uh, President and CEO Jim Greenwood, will be speaking on a lunch plenary on Monday at the Biotech Showcase, along with four fantastic execs from biopharma and investment companies. The topic is the upcoming election and its potential impact on the biopharma industry. So if you're planning on going to Biotech Showcase, we definitely encourage you to head over to that panel on Monday and join in. The Digital Medicine and MedTech Showcase at the intersection of technology and medicine will be at the Park 55 from Monday through Wednesday. The 2020 CSSI Life Sciences Partnering Forum, exclusive partnering and networking event connecting startups and mature uh, biopharma and media device companies. This will be at the Hilton Union Square on Monday through Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. AAMA's Global Healthcare Conference with the topic AI, the next digital frontier for health. This is uh, going to feature some of the latest global developments and in innovative tech that are transforming healthcare at Wells Fargo on Monday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Buttons Healthcare Cross-Border Partnering Summit from Globe to Asia at JPM. This is a company specializing in cross-border business for the whole healthcare sector. And that's going to be at the Julia Morgan Ballroom on Monday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
the IQVIA JPM China Day Convergence, linking West and East from molecule to product. This event will discuss business strategy tactics and best practices on linking West and East markets. This will be at the JP Morgan Co. On the 20th, excuse me, 20th floor conference room. Uh, that'll be on Monday from 9.30 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. The Resi Conference has become a, an important venue to meet early stage investors and companies. It will be at the Marine Memorial Club on Tuesday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. McDermott and EY's Healthcare Private Equity Leaders Forum. This will be an interesting conversation with investment professionals and industry specialists. The RSVP will get you your venue information here, and that's on Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. McDermott and EY's Life Science Investment Forum, S similar situation on Tuesday from 12 p.m. On uh, to 2 o'clock p.m. This program will feature an opening keynote on developments in U.S. pharma pricing legislation. The GenScript Biotech Global Forum has a theme this year of cell and gene therapy and booming China market. This will be at the Grand Hyatt on Tuesday from 1.30 to 7 o'clock p.m. Freemind's 15th Annual Non-Dilutive Funding Summit. It's a free educational event bringing together hundreds of life science industry leaders to learn from a variety of funding sources at the Marines Memorial Club on Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The McDermott and EY Hospital and Health System Innovation Summit. This will provide you with exec level insight to position your organization to innovate, collaborate, and move within the healthcare landscape. This is on Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 2.15 p.m. The 32nd Annual California State University Biotechnology Symposium will uh, be focused on broadening exposure to cutting-edge biotech and the spectrum of career paths available in the life sciences at the Santa Clara Marriott from Thursday through Saturday uh, from 1 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. All right, and we have in just barely over an hour managed to cover many, many, many events. So thank you everyone so much for participating in today's BioCompass webinar. As a few quick reminders, if you registered for the webinar, whether or not you were able to attend, you will receive in the next 48 hours an email with a link to uh, this slide deck as well as to the recording of the webinar. We'll also be publishing the BioCompass event list. So if you want a quick and uh, easy reference material for what all the receptions and events without clicking through 160, 170 slides, then we'd encourage you to download that. The next version will be available uh, tomorrow and then again on January 3rd, that's a Friday. And if you have questions about BIOS meeting space, the Bio 101 partnering system, or a variety of the other things that were mentioned today, we would recommend that you visit bio.org slash JPM. And Donna, I'd like to thank you so much again for sharing your expert tips and tricks with us. Any last words for our audience today? My last words is wear comfortable shoes. Sage audience from the Sage of JP Morgan. Indeed, you may not want to go and get your new pair of shoes and then wear them to JPM. It might be an uncomfortable experience. And we don't want that. And we want you to take care of all the best, take care to take advantage of all the best practices that have been shared today, as well as those uh, at the other event that Donna mentioned that's going to be taking place here in the next week or so. So we look forward to seeing everyone in San Francisco for JPM Week 2020. Thanks so much and have a fantastic day. Thanks, Willie.